Welcome everyone. On this video, I will show you how to fix this error, Windows can't be installed on Drive Zero Partition 3, when trying to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 or other operating systems. When clicking on Show Details hyperlink, it says that Windows cannot be installed to this hard disk space, followed by one of the following error causes. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style. The selected disk has an MBR partition table. On EFI systems, Windows can only be installed to GPT disks. BitLocker drive encryption is enabled on the selected partition. The partition was reserved by the computer's original equipment manufacturer, OEM. Windows must be installed to a partition formatted as NTFS. Please check your media drive. Here's more about what happened, 0x8030001. This computer's hardware may not support booting to this disk. Ensure that the disk's controller is enabled in the computer's BIOS menu. The partition contains one or more dynamic volumes that are not supported for installation. This video will show you how to fix all of them one by one. First part, how to fix this error, the selected disk is of the GPT partition style, without losing data. This error indicates that the internal disk in your computer has a GPT scheme while the bootable USB has an MBR disk scheme. The simplest solution for this issue is by just recreating a bootable USB in GPT system in another computer or in your mobile. To create a bootable USB in another computer, do the followings. Download the ISO file of Windows and Rufus tool from links in video description. Start Rufus tool and connect an empty USB to the computer. Click on select button and load the installed ISO file of Windows 11 or Windows 10. Make sure the GPT is the selected option from partition scheme option. Click start button to continue. If your computer not meet Windows 11 requirements, make sure the computer is connected to the internet and then choose which option not available on your computer, otherwise, click OK to continue creating a bootable USB without modification. To create a dual bootable USB drive that supports both GPT and MBR systems in your mobile, do the followings. Download Windows ISO file or copy it into your mobile. Install Ventoy app from links in video description and start it. Connect a bootable USB to your mobile and allow Ventoy to access it. Click install button to make the USB as a bootable device and to copy the required files to the USB. Navigate to copy tab and then press on plus icon. Go to mobile storage and load the downloaded ISO file of Windows. After that boot from the USB drive and install Windows as usual. Also you can fix this issue by converting the internal disk to MBR, but this conversion is strongly not recommended, because the GPT scheme has many advantages over MBR scheme in relation to boot speed, number of partitions per disk, size of each partition and many more features. Unlike the conversion from MBR to GPT, converting disk from GPT to MBR will remove all partitions including all data and files on the converted disk. If you have decided to convert your disk from GPT to MBR, do the followings. Press Shift plus F10 to open CMD. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list disk and press enter. Select the disk you want to convert using cell disk command followed by the disk number. In my case, I will select the disk number 0 using this command. Cell disk 0. Type clean and press enter to remove all partitions and everything from the selected disk. Type this command to convert the disk to MBR. Convert MBR. Show the disks using list disk command to confirm the disk conversion. As you can see, the disk successfully converted to MBR system is indicated by no asterisk next to the disk number 0. Also all partitions are removed as indicated by only unallocated space is available on setup wizard window. Now, you can click on new option to create new partition, or click on next to start creating, formatting and installing windows. However, to create partition manually, open CMD again and execute disk part command. Select the disk using cell disk command. Create new partition using this command. Create partition primary. Type list vol and press enter. Select the new volume using cell vol followed by the volume number. In my case, the new created volume is number 3, so I selected it using this command. Cell vol 3. Format the selected volume in NTFS file system using this command. Format fs equals NTFS quick. Close command prompt and click on refresh option. Select the partition that you want to install Windows and click next button to start Windows installation. Second part, how to fix this error the partition was reserved by the computer's original equipment manufacturer, OEM. This error indicates that you are trying to install Windows to a partition that is reserved to store recovery and other data of your computer. Usually, the size of this partition is smaller than the required size for Windows to be installed. So try to select another partition with enough disk space, and keep OEM partition untouched. Third part, how to fix this error, please check your media drive. 
Here's more about what happened, 0x8030001. This error may appear after converting the disk to MBR or after formatting the entire disk drive, as the temporary boot partition is removed from the formatted disk. To fix this error, do the followings. Make sure you have created a new primary partition after converting the disk as shown previously. Close setup wizard menu and start installation again, so the boot partition will be recreated. Fourth part, how to fix this error, Windows must be installed to a partition formatted as NTFS. To fix this error you have to convert the file system of the disk to NTFS format as followings. Press Shift plus F10 keys to open command prompt. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list disk and press enter. Select the disk using this command. Cell disk 0. Show available volumes using this command. List vol. Determine the volume that you want to install Windows on according to its total size then select it using this command followed by the volume number. Cell vol. Format the selected partition in NTFS file system using this command. Format fs equals NTFS quick. Close command prompt and back to setup wizard. Click refresh option. Select the partition again if not selected and then click on next to start Windows installation. Fifth part. How to fix Windows cannot be installed to this hard disk space due to BitLocker drive encryption is enabled on the selected partition. If you have the recovery password, you can unlock BitLocker partition as followings. Press Shift plus F12 keys to open command prompt. Type this command and press enter to show which partition is BitLocked. Manage BDE status. Type the following command followed by the recovery password to unlock Windows partition. Manage BDE unlock E, RP. Replace E with the letter of locked partition in your computer. Recovery password is a unique 48 digits for each locked partition, which generated when enabling BitLocker disk encryption. It can be retrieved from Microsoft account linked to the same computer or from a USB or any external drive based on wherever you choose to save it. Refer to video description for more details about retrieving BitLocker recovery key. After unlocking partition, disable BitLocker encryption using this command. Manage BDE protectors disable E. Close command prompt and then click on refresh option. As you can see, the error message disappeared after unlocking the selected partition. So you can format or extend the selected partition or even installing Windows directly by clicking on next button. If you are unable to get BitLocker recovery password, click on delete option to remove encrypted partition and its data. After that, select the unallocated space and click on new to recreate the removed partition. Sixth part. How to fix MBR issue when booting from a GPT USB drive without losing data. If you are trying to install Windows on an MBR drive while booting from a USB drive created in GPT, you will see the following error message, the selected disk has an MBR partition table. On EFI systems, Windows can only be installed to GPT disks. This is because the legacy is enabled in your BIOS settings, which accept only installing from a bootable USB created on an MBR disk scheme. As you have seen on the first part of the video, this problem can be fixed easily by recreating a bootable USB in MBR system in another computer, or by creating a hybrid bootable USB drive in your mobile that supports both GPT and MBR schemes, however, if recreating a bootable USB is not feasible, you still have a chance to fix this error by converting the internal disk to a GPT system. But before converting the disk to GPT, you have to confirm that your computer supports UEFI boot mode to avoid losing your data. To check your BIOS for UEFI, do the followings. Power on the computer. Press F2 or another hotkey immediately and repeatedly to open BIOS settings. This is the list of hotkeys that can be used to open BIOS menu in different computers. Navigate to boot or advanced menu and see if there is any option called boot mode or if there is any setting called UEFI mode. If the laptop supports UEFI mode, you can convert your disk to GPT safely as followings. Close BIOS settings with no changes and boot from the USB again. Press Shift plus R keys to open CMD. Type disk part and press enter. Type list disk and press enter. Select the internal disk that you want to install Windows on, using this command. Cell disk 0. Type list part and press enter. If you have more than three partitions on the selected disk, delete one partition so you can convert the disk to GPT without error. But before deletion, make sure to copy all your files from the disk you will delete to another partition or to external USB storage. Also be sure not to delete boot, windows, or recovery partitions, otherwise, you will fail to convert the disk to GPT system. Refer to video description to learn how to differentiate between boot, recovery, and windows partitions. Select the partition that you will delete using cell part command followed by the partition number. In my case, I will delete partition number 4 using this command. Cell part 4. 
Type this command to delete the selected partition. Delete partition. Execute list part again to confirm that the partition was deleted. Type exit and press enter to exit disk part. Type bcd edit to determine the letter of Windows partition. In my case the D is the Windows partition, so I will change CMD path to system32 folder using this command. CD slash DD colon backslash Windows backslash system32. Execute this command to convert the disk from MBR to GPT without losing data. MBR to GPT slash convert. Now, open BIOS settings as instructed previously, and change boot mode to UEFI and then enable secure boot. Navigate to Exit tab and select Exit Saving Changes option. After that, boot from the USB, so you can install Windows 10 or Windows 11 without issue. Refer to video description for more details about converting the disk to GPT system, or about creating a bootable USB using Rufus and Ventoy tools. Seventh part, how to fix this error, the partition contains one or more dynamic volumes that are not supported for installation. This error can be fixed by converting the disk from dynamic to basic, but you have to make a backup copy for your files on the disk, as this conversion will remove everything on the disk. To convert your disk to basic, do the followings. Press Shift plus R keys to open CMD. Type disk part and press enter. Type list disk and press enter. The asterisk under dynamic column indicates that the disk number 0 is the dynamic one, so I selected it using this command. Cell disk 0. Execute this command to convert the disk to basic. Convert basic. Execute list disk again to confirm the conversion. Close the CMD and click refresh, so you can divide your disk or directly install Windows by clicking next. Eighth part, how to fix this error, this computer's hardware may not support booting to this disk. Ensure that the disk's controller is enabled in the computer's BIOS menu. As indicated by second part of the error message, the disk controller in BIOS settings is the most common source for this error. So to fix this error do the followings. Open BIOS settings as instructed previously. In Lenovo and similar computers, navigate to configuration tab to change disk controller mode. Change SATA controller mode from compatible to AHCI mode. In some old HP and similar computers, the disk controller called SATA device mode, and can be accessed by clicking on advanced tab and then open device configuration. Also the compatible or IDE mode is called RAID mode in such computers. In Dell computers, you can open the advanced tab and then change configure SATA as, from IDE to AHCI. If the mentioned options are unavailable in your computer, locate and disable any option related to the following words. Disk controller, AHCI, IDE, RAID, compatibility. After that, navigate to Exit tab and select Exit Saving Changes option. Another solution is by formatting the disk and then recreate a primary partition as shown previously. Especially if the disk has been formatted or partitioned using a third-party app. Also in some Mac models, this error may arise if you have another hard disk connected via OptiBay Caddy in place of DVD drive. To fix this issue, just disconnect the OptiBay disk and install Windows into the internal disk. After installing and booting Windows, power off the computer and reconnect the disk. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.